Am I good? Am I Gucci? I think I'm Gucci. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. And this is Vlogmas Day number eight. Eight, which is ocho in Espanol, y acht in Deutsch, und hachi in Nihongo, to... I think that's all the languages I know. Anyway, this is Vlogmas, and today I will be talking about confidence in Lolita fashion. I am not doing my usual setup today. I wanted to switch it up and do a quick video on my break from work. Confidence is something that I think most Lolitas have struggled with at some point, and I think if we're all being honest, we've struggled with it in some capacity at some point, whether that was when we first started out or later on. Um, maybe some of us are dealing with it right now and struggling right now with going out in public or going to meetups or whatever the case may be. And I wanted to give one of my best tips about confidence in Lolita, which honestly doesn't just apply to Lolita. It applies to anything in any community that you're part of. And that is to surround yourself with the right people. This is so, so important. In Lolita, there are people of all kinds of backgrounds, personality types, styles, whatever. Some of those people are not the right people to surround yourself with because if you're struggling with confidence, you need to be around people who are going to help you and uplift you and help you grow, right? So if you're hanging around people who are super negative or people who are really nasty or people who just bring you down and aren't helping you get to where you want to go as a person, those kinds of people are not the ones that you want to surround yourself with. Those people you might have to cut ties with and let them move on, right? It is time for you to move on from those people. I have done this in my professional career. So being in the software industry, it's competitive to some degree. At this point, it's kind of competitive. But also as a woman in the software industry, it can be really difficult to get ahead. So I learned early on that I needed to surround myself with the right people. I needed to surround myself with people who were smart, who would make me want to be smarter. I needed to surround myself with people who who weren't going to be lazy and who didn't complain all the time. I wanted to surround myself with people who had ideas and who wanted to help me and who could be a mentor. And I also wanted to surround myself with people that I could also help mentor so I could grow myself in ways that come along with mentoring other people. The exact same applies to Lolita, minus maybe like the smart part. but. If you are not around people who challenge you and who help you grow, who help you step up your courting, maybe you want to surround yourself with more of those people. If you're not around people who have good ideas, who want to help or want to contribute or want to give back or who want to help you, maybe it's time to find you some new people. If you're around people who complain all the time about everything, whether it's a meetup, events, other people, coordinates, whatever, maybe you need to remove yourself from those friendships. So I'm a part of a like vlogmas group on Facebook, which honestly is one of like the best things that has happened this year because it is so positive and everyone's just like hyping each other up to do vlogmas. But one of the people in that group said something that really resonated with me, which is that like we regulate our lives so much to the point where like we're afraid of being ourselves because we are afraid of being rejected for being ourselves. Right? So if you like think about that, that's very true for Lolita. Like we're afraid of showcasing our personality and our coordinates because people always have something negative to say about everything. We're afraid of going outside in public with Lolita. Maybe not now, but we were afraid of going outside because we didn't feel confident in the clothes because we are afraid of other people saying something. We're afraid of posting coordinates on the internet at all because we're afraid of being posted somewhere else on some dumb anonymous board that still exists in this world and someone having something negative to say. So we are just like afraid of people not liking us or having something negative to say. And I mean, if we're all being honest, like not everyone in the world is going to like you. So like, let's understand that. But also those people are going to exist in the world anyway, unfortunately. But once you learn to detach yourself away from that fear and be around people who are going to help you be more confident and happy with yourself and help you get better within yourself, you become, you get to a level of like, I don't even care anymore. Like I'm happy with who, how I look and how I am. It doesn't matter like what you who have 
nothing positive to say ever thinks. You know what I mean? So I also think it just comes along with age. Um, I'm 34, which is kind of old for Lolita, I suppose, but I'm at a point in my life where like I'm too old to be worried about what other people think. I've worked too hard to get to this point and life is way too short. I've lost a lot of people in my life at very young ages and it sounds so cliche, but it's really true. And when I look back on my life, I don't want to look back and be like, dang, you know what? I can't believe I let this 19 year old who can't even complete a sentence tell me something about how I was dressed today. You know what I mean? Something else also, though, like, if you haven't seen the documentary, The Last Dance on Netflix, which is about the Chicago Bulls and Michael Jordan, even if you're not a sports fan, it's one of the best documentary series I've ever watched. And it was so good because you look at someone like Michael Jordan, who's arguably one of the best athletes ever, one of the best basketball players ever. I think he's the best, but that's subjective. People still has something to say about him. You know what I mean? Like you could be the Michael Jordan of Lolita. Misako, people still talk about her all the time. Mana, people talk about him all the time. They gotta walk out with their head held high like they are the sh That's literally what you have to do in this world because there's haters everywhere. I'm gonna bring it back to the documentary. Something else about that documentary that you will also notice if you haven't seen it is that when you listen to the interviews of the players on that team, you hear them talk about how that team was so good. They trusted each other. They valued each other. They played better together. When Michael Jordan was on a team, people got better. He pushed other people to be better, right? You gotta think of the people in your life in Lolita and your personal life as like, you are on my team for a reason because you help me be better. And if you don't have those kinds of people in your life, you're never going to be confident. You're never going to excel. You're never going to grow into being a better person. So I try and look at the things that I do in my career, the people that I surround myself with as I wanna learn from everyone that I can, and I also wanna be able to give back to everyone that I can, even if it's in a tiny little way. And challenging yourself also really helps with confidence. When, whenever, whenever you're doing something new, it's scary. But if you aren't challenging yourself and doing new things, you don't learn how to become more confident and grow as a person. One of the things they also talked about in this live stream was that a lot of people are afraid of doing Vlogmas because you usually end up talking about things and doing videos that aren't your usual videos and people are afraid of losing subscribers or followers or viewers because they're not doing the same thing they always did but like it's good to challenge yourself and it's okay if you lose followers or subscribers but if you're being yourself, you want to attract the people who want to be around you for being you. So if you are worried about being yourself, if you're worried about not having viewers or not having subscribers or not having friends because you're yourself, you don't want to surround yourself with people who don't allow you to feel comfortable in your own skin. Surround yourself with people who make you feel like, yeah, you can be yourself. Like. It's okay. Like, don't surround yourself with people who make you feel bad because you're plus size. Don't hang out with people who make fun of other people who have legitimate disabilities. Like, I still can't believe we still have people in this world that like do stuff like that. If you are on anonymous boards, if you're in Facebook groups and you're just surrounded with negativity and hate and you can't handle it, friend, you can log out. Log out. Get you the right people that will help you get your head back in the game and you'll be a lot more confident in this fashion and really just like in life in general because life can be very challenging. Also, if you take the mentality of me, which is I don't have room for negativity and none of this bull crap in 2021, like that's really, that's really what's gonna help you get through, right? Corona went, she came in here, she went and turned everybody's lives upside down. Every single life has been impacted by coronavirus in some fashion. She ruined my ability to go to the angelic pretty tea party this year. It was the 10 year and it was supposed to be lit. And she came in here and she did her thing and she messed it up. She's, she looks like she's on the path to messing up 2021, but she's enough. I don't have time for anyone else. If I'm, if I'm really being honest, like I don't have time for 
Kenzie over here to tell me about the fact that my bangs weren't straight. Kenzie, I don't care. I'm too busy trying to make sure I can get married next year. Thank you. I went on a tangent there for a second. I'm sorry, but yeah. Anyway, that is my vlogmas video today. I'm trying to keep it short, but it was not that short. Dang it. I was trying to keep it like six minutes. I'm not wearing Lolita today, but I am wearing the shirt from... I can't remember who this shirt's from, but it's super cute. It's like this Instagram picture that says like too lazy to cord because literally I'm too lazy to put on a cord today. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. This is Vlogmas and I will be back tomorrow with another video. And if you enjoyed this video, leave it a thumbs up and leave a comment and let me know what tips you might have for other people who might be struggling with confidence that have worked well for you, especially when it comes to the Lita. This can be a very intimidating fashion, but again, when you got the right people around you, you feel pretty invincible. So this is not to say that you can't learn though. You can learn. Get you some friends who are gonna help you learn and grow. Don't act like you're gonna come out here acting like you can't be fixed and you all big and bad and there's nothing that can be improved about you because you, everyone can always grow. Okay. Oh, I forgot because I'm recording off the cuff. Today is Vlogmas Day 8, so tomorrow I will be announcing the winner of the giveaway that I announced last Friday. If you have not entered, I'm sorry, it's too late. The giveaway ended yesterday, but I will be announcing the winner of both the address and the BBNB &B deco gift card. So I just want to say thank you everyone for all your support. Um, I have, I have not checked any of my YouTube comments yet, and I have 87 YouTube comments to check at some point. Uh, I don't know if they're all in this video, but we'll see. I don't know how many times I can say support in one video, but um, really, really appreciate all of you guys for um, sticking around and helping me figure this thing out. This has been really fun. Anyway, I'm gonna go and finish working so I can pop open a bottle of wine. I will see you guys here tomorrow to announce the winner and have a good day. Bye.